friends welcome to the nias today we will be discussing current affairs from the hindu and indian express of 13th of october 2022 so let's start with first news of the day the first news talks about the buddhist conversion day which is also known as the vijaya ashoka vijaya dashmi day now on what happened on this day that on 14th of october which is known as the or which is celebrated as dharm dharm chakra dharm chakra parivartan day on the 14th of october 1956 in the year 1956 dr b r ambedkar along with his followers embraced buddhism under the presence of monk chandramani from maharashtra at diksha bhumi now dr b r ambedkar had rejected the ideologies of theravada mahayana and vajrayana tradition and he adopted what is known as the buddhi what is known as the neo buddhism or ambedkarite buddhism it is also known as the bhimyana or navyana vidhan or navyana buddhism dr b r ambedkar had reinterpreted the buddhism and he rejected the foundational practices and precepts of buddhism such as the renunciation of such as the monkhood monasticism karma after life rebirth samsara etc and four noble truth etc he had altered the buddha's original teaching to make them about social equality and class conflict he drastically reinterpreted them and this can be found explicitly written in one of his work which is the buddha and his dhamma and it is considered as the holy book by the navyana followers now let us move on to the second news of the day the second news talks about that the state of tamil nadu has notified india's first loris century now this is cylinder loris and their population is decli- declining and they have been listed as endangered species in iucn red list therefore the government of Tam- tamil nadu had notified the kadavur cylinder loris century in the state which is spread across 11000 hectares of land in karur and dindigul districts now let us see some specific features of cylinder loris the first they are the small nocturnal mammals the second they are arboreal and third they are biological predator that means they are helpful to prevent agriculture crop loss from the pest and insecticides and hence benefiting farmers it has been said that the major threat to the cylinder loris population is from the habitat destruction the third news of the day is the is about the monsoon that how the monsoonal monsoonal pattern is being observed in india now if we if we see the regular pattern of the monsoon or the traditional activity of the monsoon it starts from july to september however it has been observed that the monsoon is reoccurring in the month of october now why such definitional change or why such change in pattern of monsoon is being observed the first is the the first is the revision of the withdrawal dates the change in the monsoonal month the shifting pattern and they and it is all has been happening all these geo physical phenomena is changing because of the climate change which is in turn due to the global warming now if we look at the global warming then it is not particularly a problem per se but it is the fast pace of the global warming that poses the challenge to the monsoonal activity now let us see what are the impacts of such monsoonal activity the meteorological department the meteorological department would face the forecasting challenge there will be adverse impact on the agriculture for example there will be alteration in the sowing season the cropping pattern and the availability of the water for the irrigation for irrigation drinking and electricity generation there will be impact on the management of the dam now is it because of the irregularity and mismanagement of the dam it led to the flood in kerala 
and dam management becomes very crucial especially in the areas of especially in the hilly areas and mountain areas right and such monsoonal activity also impacts the habitation habitation because of the disasters now let us move on to the fifth fourth news of the day the fourth news is related with the pending and of appeals and complaints in the information commission across india this report is being published by the satark nagrik sangathan which highlights that the highest number of the cases are pending in maharashtra 29 of the information commissions are completely defunct in the country and the major focus has been to two information commissions from the state of jharkhand and tripura which have been defunct for the past 29 and 15 months respectively women occupy only 5% of the position that means there is low women participation in such institutions and 95% of the commissions did not impose penalties in the cases where there were potential penalties were to be imposed lack of transparency is also is considered as one of the factors in the reducing effectiveness of the RTI law the report also highlights the digitalization that's only 11 information commission out of the 29 they provide e filing of the facilities but only 5 are functional that means only 11 provide the e filing facilities and out of these 11 only 5 are functional only 5 are functional there is a report by transparency international which says that 1/4 of the posts are vacant 5% of the posts are occupied by women which is very low and out of the 165 posts of the information commissioners 42 are vacant now you can use you can use this information in your mains examination when it comes to in gs paper Two, and also in general studies paper three, that that how the good governance, that how the good governance is dependent upon the transparency. And RTI is one such mechanism, or RTI created in the year two thousand five onwards such institution, which upholds the transparency and accountability. accountability therefore this in this report by the satark nagrik sangathan and transparency international becomes of utmost importance it is not possible for us to remember all the figures but at least you should be able to remember and recall the important points which are given in this report so that's it for today thank you